So there's an importance in on the, the, the goal and the position of the sower as well, what they're gonna do with the seed. So as me, so the sower needs to sow in order to grow the right crop and harvest. The word must be the seed that is given so that proper growth can occur. Mm -hmm. So as a sower, it's important that I know exactly what I'm sowing. Mm -hmm. That's important where I'm sowing it to. Mm -hmm. And also what I'm expecting that seed to do. Yeah. yeah. So if I don't know, first of all, if my seeds aren't, if it's not the word of God, then I can't expect a good harvest. So if I'm, if I'm just sowing seeds of, of my, out of my own natural self, then what am I going to reap at natural stuff? But if I'm expecting a great harvest because everything is pretty much based in the spiritual realm, I got to sow seeds of the word yeah. into that. So um, I can't give you, I can't give you the word of Renad, my own, for stopping my own <laughs> philosophy, my own wisdom, my own what I think it should be because at, what kind of seeds is that going to produce in you? If I'm saying, well, I think that it's this and this, and if I'm going off of fiction, nonfiction, if I'm going off of theory or whatever, I, what I heard someone else say, not off of what this is saying, then I'm feeding you the wrong stuff. Yeah. I'm not feeding you what is going to help you grow as a, as a, as a pastor, as a prophet, whoever it is may be. They're not, they're not, if they're going off of what they think or they're not what they know, the truth, then you're getting fed the wrong thing. So it's important for us as sowers, whoever's up here, it's important for us to know that what we're sowing and make sure that we're sowing the truth to God because the truth to God is the only thing that's going to bear fruit in all of us. And Jesus. So, um, because, it, and it, like, just as, as I wrote it, it, it can't be solely based on my own opinions. As a soul, it can't be based on what we think. It has to be based on God's word. And just, I want to I go through an outline uh, in the scripture. First of all, pointing out that the seed, the seed that the soul went out to sow was the word of God. That's that's the first thing. And the four things that that uh, I highlighted was first, the, the, there was a seed sown in the wayside. So the wayside was the first place. The second place was the rock. And third place was, the, was in the thorns, and the fourth place was in the good ground. So the first place, in the wayside, these people, they hear the word, but they allow the devil to come in to steal it. Right, right, like, so if that's just like, for example, that's just like you guys getting the word tonight, and time you walk out those doors, you, there's something like an argument pops off or something, or something pops off to where you would easily let the devil come and steal that word from you. Yeah. And, and, I, and I've been there. Like, that's why I was like, this, this word really hit home for me as I was studying it because I was like, God was even te he was testing me in the midst of it because I was like, there was times where even on, uh, when, when was last search day on Wednesday? <laughs> yes. No, not on Wednesday. My days have been mixed up lately. Like, so but on Wednesday, after receiving that word about being bold and stuff, the test came. And right when the test came, God had to check and say, Renai, you just got the word. Are you really going to let the devil steal this so quickly? Yes. Are you really going to let him take it over this small situation? Yes. Because are you going to really get upset over this small situation? Are you really going to get impatient over this small situation? In those in those instances, the word gets taken that quickly. Wow. Because the devil don't want you to get it inside. Because wow. if you get it inside here, it's is over. And he yes. knows because that's that's where the ground is. So when, it's, when the seed's in the ground, unless you, must, unless you dig it up, that's the only way it's going to come up. Wow. So... Just like he, like he said, he said that the word says that the devil comes and tries, he takes away the word out of your hearts. He tries to take it away so that you won't believe and be saved. So he doesn't want you to believe it. He doesn't want you to, because when it gets inside, it, it takes root. And you're able to, you guys were able to believe and able to trust God. So he don't want that to happen. So that's the people by the wayside. You just allow him to come steal it. Like, we know the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So if we know that, we have to be on guard and know mm -hmm. that when that word gets put into our hearts, whether we're listening to a message, listening to worship, that's even seeds in itself, worship, listening to praise and worship. Those mm -hmm. are seeds that are being sown into us. So let's say you get in your car and you, you're worshiping and everything like that, and time to get out your car, or, or, or no, while you're in your car, someone cuts you off. Oh, <laughs> someone cut, which happens so frequently out here for some reason. <laughs> 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 and that yeah, has to remind you so many times for not, it's gonna be okay. She, be like, you see? She, she cannot hear you. I'll be like, what? I'll be like, what the heck? Don't you, don't you see it? Your whole mood shifts. 
I'm just worshiping, and it happens every time. After I'm so deep in worship, I'm so in, I'm like in it. And Let's try this fears. In worship, in time, I'm, when time I get on the road, that's I feel like that's my test. I'm like, when you come pick me up, people driving crazy. They speed it behind you, like you driving slow. Then you, then you just, I'm like. In those moments, that's when, <laughs> you know, that's, when that's one of those tests that got to test me with it. We're not without the word, and this is the worship. Road so rage. are you really going to allow the devil to steal that? Because those, the word is what's going to help you believe. Yes. The word is what's going to help you really believe in God. Because wow. if you don't have the word in you, how can you believe? Yes. How can we really believe and say we trust God if we don't have the word in us? So we have to, we have to let it take root and don't let the enemy steal it because he's really trying to steal it because he, he's just going to, I don't care, I'm gonna get it from them. He's plotting. Even now he's plotting. And yep. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. <laughs> he's door that he ain't gonna steal no word from nobody in here. Yeah. Because he's 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 waiting. Anytime anyone's trying anyone's receiving that truth, he's he he's 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 probably in here right now trying to listen. Like, yeah. dang it, I gotta figure out how much to Still, this word from them, so yep. they won't they won't get it in here. They won't believe God because I don't want them to believe God. I don't want, I don't want them to receive the blessing. I don't want them to receive the promised land. As we learned, also going back to the land of flowing milk and honey, I don't want them to receive the promised land. But we have to really be on guard. That, and that's also coming on guarding the word. When we get that word, you gotta guard it. Something it, it's almost like it's like a prized possession. We have to see the word as that. As if it is like our cell phone. We don't want them to have our cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> a day without it, they go crazy. Drop, when that for cell phone drops, you be like, dang it. <laughs> that's I'm saying. That. That's used, you. I, that's you. I used to get so into every time I almost get the cell phone and got dropped. And I was like, man. And I carry, we said we carry our cell phones everywhere. Just like, just to carry that everywhere. Wow. And we mm. guard that. We've got to guard the word. Wow. Just like that. Yes. So in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> just like for the women, our purse, the purses, the purses, or <laughs> the shoes, <laughs> the shoes. The shoe. I don't know some earrings. I don't know. Every woman is different. So I don't know. You know but, me, my bows. Or for the men, our tennis shoes, our, our kicks, you know, our, our hats. Because I'm with you, Jazzy. I, I'm about my hats too. So I'm, like, I'm trying to guard my hats. So, like, so you know, we're looking at my hoodies. You know, I'm Jesus. <laughs> so just like that, we really have to protect the word when it gets in us. Right when we read it, and even in our own personal study time, when we read it, we have to be like, God, please help us keep it. What's going on? Mm-hmm. We're hearing like knocking yeah, like, it's, 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 it's like this. Okay, you ain't coming in, W. You ain't coming in. <laughs> <laughs> but the wind's so bad, so something must be hitting the top or something. Okay. Just the same. Um, that is weird. And, <laughs> so let's not be, I encourage you, let's not be like the people on the wayside, allowing the devil to just steal it. Wow. Just come in and just let here, devil, you know what, I, just take it. Because, but, and also now we're going to the people on the rock. The people on the rock, they hear the word, they receive it with joy. The word says, if we go to verse 13, if you have your Bible still open. It says, but the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear, they receive the word with joy. And these have no root, who believe for a while, and in time of temptation, they fall away. Wow. It makes me think of, um, like you said, whatever those seeds are up there. When you plant a seed, you have to water it. And when you don't, it won't grow. Exactly. So that's what it made me think of, is that they, you water it the first couple of times. You figure that's enough. If you don't water it every day, it's just going to go away. Exactly. You're not. He's not taking root to anything if it you don't want it. Root. And in order to, yeah, exactly, it has to be watered in order for a root to grow. So, so with that, with that person on the rock, they hear it. So they're hearing the word. They're sitting in the congregation, hearing the word. They're receiving with joy. They're getting excited about the word. They're like, "Yes, Lord, Hallelujah, <laughs> Thank you, Jesus." I, yes, Pastor, that word was awesome. Amen. They're receiving with joy. That's what it says. It says in the word, they receive the word with joy, and they have, but they have no root. They're not rooted in Christ. Yeah, wow. So they're receiving the word, but they have no root. Mm-hmm. So that's just like a tree can't grow without its roots. It has to be rooted in something. Just like you see those huge trees, it's because the roots are big. The roots are deep. Yeah. They're rooted in something that has yep. a good foundation. Yeah. Going back to what Shermaine said on Wednesday about the foundation. No, the <laughs> it's about the foundation. What are we rooted in? That's what's going to matter as well. We have to be rooted in Christ. Because that's our only solid foundation that's going to help us grow. So we have to be rooted in something. If you're not rooted in something, what's going to happen is 